right now is a good time to clean out the house before winter hits, right? But a News 5 warning for you tonight if you're looking to sell any of that stuff online. Five on your side investigator Jonathan Wall shows us a tempting check that came to it's the like wrong fishing. guy. You know, you get a bite, boom, and then they go after you. The bait in Mike Oldham's story was some old furniture he wanted to sell on Craigslist. Within minutes of posting, his phone went boom with out-of-state texts and one with an Athens, Ohio area code. They would be contacting me from another phone number since this was his wife's phone. Odd, but really the whole conversation was a bit odd. They didn't you know, want to look at it. They didn't want to come visit it, anything like that. It was just uh, cut and dried. They're going to send me a check. They told him when the money comes, deposit it, let it get into his account after 48 hours. And how much was the check? Uh, the check was for $1,850.35 for $250 of furniture. Mike had to laugh because little did they know where you work. No, they, they had no idea, which made it even more fun. You see, Mike just so happens to be a decades-long employee of the Better Business Bureau, serving Greater Cleveland. He's seen this scam a thousand times. And that check? I looked at the routing number and went online and punched it in, and it wasn't affiliated with any bank at all. These uh, people are pros at being cons. Sue McConnell is Mike's boss. She says when it comes to your for sale postings, watch out for an immediate response from people who aren't in your immediate area. And about that thing you're selling. They don't really ask any questions about it. The biggest red flag is the overpayment on the check you get. The crooks will tell you to do something with that supposed money, like pay for shipping by wiring money or buy green dot cards and call them with the numbers. Mike eventually sold his furniture to real buyers. But when we contacted him to do this story, he placed his ad back up on Craigslist so we could see it. And as soon as I put it up, the same thing happened. I got four or five texts immediately from out of, out of the state. Bait, back up on the hook. And the whole thing started over again. Twice? Yeah. Even though it's the same ad, it's the same contact information, yeah. they've already contacted you. Right. Just to see what would happen, he played the game again. They asked him this time to send an email to the supposed buyer. And I did that, and they just wanted my information so that they could get a check out. The criminals just don't care. They're always watching, always looking for an opportunity. Seller beware. Yes, sir. Not buyer beware on this one. Seller beware. I'm Five on Your Side investigator Jonathan Walsh. Wow. Well, if you really want to sell something online, do it locally. Meet up with the buyers in person at a very safe place, like a police station parking lot. That's safe.